back. It's voting day in the federal riding of Toronto, St. Paul's. And there's a lot more on the line than just a seat in the House of Commons. CTV's Christina Finalia is in downtown Toronto with more on this story. So, Christina, this is not just about that riding. It's about the much bigger political picture across the country, isn't it? Yeah, so this is considered Nick, a, a litmus test for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. But keep in mind, uh, certainly by-elections don't change the, the landscape of the government or a political party. Uh, but what this may do is uh, send a message to the prime minister and the liberals as to how voters are feeling. And I point that out because this riding has been a liberal stronghold for some 30 plus years. Uh, certainly we have seen and we have talked about this. We've not only heard from people across the country, but it's in terms of the pundits we've spoken with, there is an appetite for change. Uh, we are hearing that in this riding, but certainly there are people, of course, who feel quite confident that that, uh, that they should stay the course. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the candidates in this riding. Leslie Church is the Liberal candidate. She was the former Chief of Staff to uh, nearby, I, I say nearby riding, MP of uh, Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister Christian Freeland. Don Stewart is the Conservative candidate. He did not speak to CTV News after multiple attempts at an interview. I point that out because we've spoken with other candidates and perhaps that's a strategy uh, on behalf of the Conservatives. And I just chatted with the NDP candidate, Amrit Parhar, who's, uh, you know, young from a demographic perspective and uh, talks about uh, some of the issues in this riding because traditionally and people in the city know this this is considered a wealthier riding but when you look at the demographics 60 percent of people who live in this riding are renters so keep that in mind from a home ownership perspective and then when we take a look at international issues 11 percent of people who live in this riding are Jewish and, and certainly uh, we have heard of course the pain of Jewish communities Palestinian communities and how that has impacted how they feel about the political leaders and political parties. Uh, so that's why this is considered a litmus test and perhaps it sends a message to mm. the Liberal government uh, in their favour or not, depending on the results here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Christina, I live very close to this neighbourhood. It is my riding and I've certainly been seeing a lot more uh, blue signs on lawns. Mm -hmm. so, so have you spoken to any voters? What are they telling you? You know, there was an older couple that just passed by and I asked them if, you know, I could speak to them shortly and they said they have a lot they want to talk about. Um, and that suggests to me that perhaps they're they're voting for change here in this riding. Um, the NDP candidate that we just chatted with, Amrit Parhar, uh, feels that there is a feeling of disillusionment across this riding. Um, certainly, I think what people think and feel about this riding traditionally, that it is a wealthier community. I mean, down the street is the, the very well-known all-boys private school, St. Michael's College. Uh, you know, there's a, a historical church here. People think of this riding, uh, they think of wealth and they think of history. Uh, but when you think of perhaps how the demographic has changed a bit, uh, when you look at 60% of people who live here are renters, that gives you a bit of perspective as to how voters may feel at the ballot box as well. Um, there is a, an ongoing housing affordability crisis in this city. People can afford a home no matter uh, really what community they live in. And there is a feeling amongst voters that perhaps this is the, the opportunity to vote for change at the ballot box if if that's how they choose to proceed. Uh, from a political perspective, uh, the parties are looking at this closely because they will see this as, you know, the Conservatives, if they win this riding, will use this as a, a kind of ammunition to say, uh, look, at, look, uh, you know, there's this is confirmation of an appetite for change. Mm -hmm. And the Liberals, uh, for example, if they, if they maintain this riding, will say, uh, look, we have an example here that Canadians uh, or, or at least voters in Toronto want to stay the course. So I think it's something to to acknowledge or review from the, the perspective of political messaging. But here in this riding, of course, that's not what voters are concerned about. They're concerned about affordability of their homes. They're concerned about their kids and the cost of daycare. Uh, they're concerned about health care. Uh, and I think they're concerned about the changing demographics here in this riding and what that means from an affordability standpoint. All right, that is Christina Tanalia teeing up the big by-election today. We'll get the results, of course, later tonight, but it's going to be a big one for sure. Thank you, Christina. Appreciate that.